Hi, and welcome back to the channel. We're Karen and Tim, and our new Twas motorhome, Les Y, or Lessie, as we like to call her. If you watched our last vlog, you'll know that I actually sold my house to buy the motorhome to set out some, on some new adventures. Karen's now started working remotely from the camper, so we're close to home to start with, just in case it all goes wrong. So, what's in this vlog? Well, what have we been up to over the last couple of months? Well, keep watching for a whirlwind tour of our travels. And please, please subscribe. It really does mean a lot to us. Um, so you can keep up with our new adventures. So here we go. Where we have we been? <laughs> well we arrived hottest day of the year so far we're in the Cotswolds and um, well it was 30 degrees we arrived we had a bit of a nightmare trying to put the awning up didn't work and, um, yeah that was hilarious wasn't it what were we doing wrong couldn't get the legs to work could we no <laughs> legs weren't working legs. yeah and then um, yeah we decided we'd give up and we we did it perfectly professionally because we gave up doing the awning literally just before a thunderstorm and then we looked like the good ones because we were putting our awning away in the dry no we looked stupid because we got all the chairs we got the and chair the table, table out <laughs> and we got the awning out and then we put it all away yeah we did yeah we looked stupid <laughs> yeah and, uh, i've been on youtube good old youtube and found out how to make the legs work on our awning um, yeah. You've got the wrong hole. <laughs> That's the wrong hole. <laughs> it was supposed to go down. And not I up. know, I know. We didn't pull the little lever. So, so we're all good now, and um, it's about quarter past seven. So we're just going to cook some food in a minute, and um, we've got the awning out so we can see that. So it's still raining. Um, but, it's not yeah, cold. But it's not cold. So we're having fun. Cheers. 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 And we'll catch you later. Well, we've got another new toy. Look at this. Wow. We've got a char broil. Woohoo! Runs off a little tiny gas cylinder. And um, well, we've got some really nice sirloin steak from the um, local farm shop. And um, yeah, it's been marinating in red wine, light soy sauce, some nice lean perins, a bit of pepper, a bit of garlic, and. Um, yeah, and we're going to do them rare, obviously. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Well, morning all. You can probably see from behind us the campsite. Uh, it's nice and sunny this morning. And, um, yeah, we're, um, we're ready for a little stroll. Where are we going, Karen? I don't know, Cotswolds Way. Cotswolds Way. <laughs> well, yeah, we did the Cotswolds Way last year, so but we did miss a bit. So we're going to go back today and make up. make up for it because you can't leave something unfinished. So, <laughs> yeah. so we'll catch you later. Uh, turn it round. We've got forecast for warm weather, 30 degrees again, and then. All being well. Morning. All being well, we will make it back before the thunderstorms start again. So uh, yeah, we'll pick up. Oops, got the map in the way. Right, forwards, onwards. Onwards. <laughs> Where is this? <laughs> I know, they are absolutely great, aren't they? <laughs> uh, we're just coming up to Stanway. Um, it's getting warm. So, yeah, just stop for a water. And, uh, 
I was just heading up. I think we're gonna go a bit, do a bit up, uphill in a minute. Which, um, pretty flat so far. It's pretty nice. What is it, Karen? What the fool? Wow. <laughs> you want that one? <laughs> Look at what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh no. Did you catch that on the video? If trees could talk, wouldn't this be amazing? It is absolutely huge. Uh, I think. Tree house and that. I think tree hugging's in order. <laughs> <laughs> get me arm drawn. Oh, Lou. Oh, Lou this way. Well, we just found out that. Stanton today has their open gardens day for charity. Yeah, we've got we art go. exhibition, child, children's book signing. We can just do it with crayons? No, the old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, very pretty. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> Well, this is tonight's campsite. Uh, it's really busy. It's incredibly busy, this campsite. Um, I know we're out of season, but it's still June. But yeah, it's um, it's gone three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, you guessed it. We're the only ones here. <laughs> hey! So the next day we're headed to Chedworth Roman Villa National Trust site. Absolutely amazing place. We highly recommend it. We spent about three hours there just looking around. Really, really cool place. Yeah. But if I pan round, it carries on going. So you can understand why it's the longest. Well, it's been another really, really hot day. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Just done another National Trust place. And um, now we're at a really amazing farm shop. Oh, forget to lock the van too. One thing which we like doing is going to farm shops. Um, and I've also noticed on all these videos that people make, like, everybody goes to supermarkets. No, go to farm shops. Support local business, support local farmers. I know not Jeremy Clarkson, maybe, but yeah, this is what we plan to do. Uh, once we get a bit more into the channel making stuff, then yeah, we'll show you lots more farm shops all around the country. We eat. <laughs> Yeah, we just bought some olives. Don't think they're local, but the fillet steak is. Mm. Right, let's go and see what else we can find. This is going to be expensive. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so we're just outside Bristol, and um, the place is called Flourish. It's absolutely beautiful. They also do Himalayan salt, Himalayan salt aged beef. Yeah, which is local for that. Also, they're using Himalayan salt, but they're salting it here. Um, we've got four fillet steaks, 
local. Two bottles of wine, local. And um, some cheese. Um, well, I bought, we bought Lancashire, that's not local, is it? Um, and some olives. Um, they're not local, I think they're from Greece and Spain. Uh, how much did we spend, Karen? How much? Sixty-three. <laughs> Sixty-three pounds. Okay. Aldi's cheap. Aldi's cheap. So we got right, back, back on the road the after Bristol and Let's headed the south the down to Breen Sands in Somerset. <laughs> um, what an amazing beach! It was really quiet there that day, and we had some amazing sunsets. Absolutely stupendous. And then after that, we're heading down into Devon for a couple of days. Well, three days actually. That's, um, we'll tell you about that in a minute. So we arrived in a really nice site in Tiverton, Devon, for a couple of nights when we had a massive rainstorm. You can see from next door, the next door van got absolutely decimated. No, it didn't turn into that. Then down to my parents. Can you see Lessie in the photos? Wow. And we picked up a new hitchhiker. He's called Horace, and I remember Horace from when I was a kid in my grandparents' car, for goodness sake. He was really well travelled, been all over the UK and probably further in my grandfather's car and then my mum and dad in their caravan, so we inherited him. We didn't realise he's actually a Peter Stife and quite valuable and hilarious. Well, I'm just rocking up at yet another farm shop. This wasn't planned, was it, Karen? No, it wasn't <laughs> planned at all. Uh, <laughs> we, um, we had to come back to Karen's place because um, we had to bring something back. <laughs> so, so the plans have changed. We're not staying in Devon. Um, we're camping up local. And then um, tomorrow we're heading to Wales. So, uh, we've been, we go to this one a lot. It's White's Farm Shop in Ellsbarton. It's absolutely fantastic. They've got a fresh butcher, local again, all local foods. So, here we go, let's see what we get again. <laughs> oh, we're out. It was bad this time. <laughs> How much was it this time, Karen? 31 pounds. 31 pounds, but we only got three sirloins this time. Uh, beef tomatoes. Nice, beautiful new potatoes. Uh, so we're having a little barbecue again tonight with Karen's young, youngest daughter and her granddaughter. So yeah, it's going to be cool. Uh, so yeah, we've named the van by the way. It's got to be, well, we did say it was wireless because of the, the Y is missing off Bailey. So we couldn't call it wireless, so it's less Y or Lessie. So Lessie is the name. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so we left Ells Barton and headed to Welshpool in Wales. Absolutely amazing little CL park up called Seven Lodge where they advertise that they do incredibly good cream teas. And yep, of course, we had to have a cream tea and it was top notch. It really was highly, highly recommended. So we left Welshpool and headed to the coast and stopped at a market town and believe it or not it was where the first Laura Ashley shop was ever was the first Laura Ashley shop <laughs> so we're heading for Borth um, what an amazing park up right on the beach um, it's a well-known park up 10 pound a night no facilities but um, yeah pretty impressive and wow the sunset at Borth Beach was Fantastic, really highly recommended park up, but try not to fly your drone too much because the car park attendant and the people playing golf don't like it. The next day we're headed to Devil's Bridge. Wow, we did both hikes and the longer hike um, I would only recommend if you're pretty fit. Um, but we did both and it was um, yeah, an exceptionally good day. After Devil's Bridge, we're heading back to home but with one more stop off on the River Severn. 
So our last stop over on this section of our adventures after almost two weeks of travelling is to a little place called the Cottage of Content. We like this pub with our campsite behind it so much that we've actually booked for a whole family holiday at the end of August, a bank holiday August weekend away. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. So thanks for watching. We've got some more adventures to come up very soon. We're heading south. We're going to the new forest and further afield. Um, yeah, and please, please press the subscribe button and the like button. You know it makes us really smile a huge amount. I'm not going to say what Karen says it gives me, but you can guess it. Bye all. See you next time.